All right, so I was really excited to get this thing going in the car. Then I got sick, but being sick, let me think about it a little bit, and I made a huge mistake. I realized that I must have read somewhere, or just somehow gotten the idea in my head that I actually had a two-wire idle air control valve when in fact I have a four-wire IAC based idle air control valve. Um, so that means two things inside the uh, case again is that I've got to fix my jumper here which I've already actually removed which I was going to use one of these IAC output pins uh, JS2 but now I can't so I'm gonna move that over to uh, JS11 I believe um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep the F idle transistor that I put in and uh, also be able to control the IAC one so if I ever decide to switch I don't have to open up the case or anything I can just use F idle or I can use it to drive a a normal relay or something like that so uh, and I'll try to keep it as long as I can um, so I basically just need to jumper these IACs uh, over to the IAC so it goes out the pin uh, otherwise those would have been spare ports uh, I might be back to using that DB9 after all we'll see how it goes though alright I wired them up uh, from IAC outputs here over to the IAC jumper uh, pads on the bottom of the board. They go out the DB37 here. Um, that should be about it. 